Hey, MMA fans, Cage Minds, Mike of Frankel, back with the news, and boy, has there been a lot of it since the last time we were here. Let's get started. We'll start off with Bellator. Bellator 75 has added its third of four heavyweight quarterfinals. The newest one added is Ron Sparks versus Mark Godbeer. That is in addition to already announced Tiago Santos versus Eric Prindle and Yuslain Mamagov versus... Brett Rogers, Bellator 79 News, Eduardo Dantes, Paul Daly, and Ryan Ford will all be in action. Move over to Invicta News. Invicta will crown their first champion, and she will be in the Atomweight division. Naho Sujiyama, the jewel champion, will take on a former interviewee of mine, Jessica Penne. That will be an exciting bout to crown the first ever Invicta champion and at the Atomweight weight class. In the co-main event, Shayna Blazer will take on Sarah Delelio. That will be exciting in the Bantamweight division. And I know also that Kiana Rain will be making her pro debut. I'm excited to see that one. We'll move on now to UFC news. For the first time in 11 years, a UFC event has been canceled. UFC 151 is canceled. Dan Henderson, torn MCL. John Jones, not willing to accept the fight on eight days' notice with Chow Sun. Sutton was willing to accept the fight. John Jones, unwilling. This forces a cancellation. This does hurt the rest of the undercard. But not all to be lost as fights are being quickly reassigned. Michael Johnson versus Danny Castillo, Jason, Jacob Valkman versus Shane Roller, and Jake Ellenberger versus Jay Haran have all been moved to UFC on FX5. Kyle Noak versus Charlie Brennerman has been moved to UFC 152. John Jones is not ducking people. I believe it was a smart move. You're a champion. You need time to prepare. UFC 152 is four weeks away. John Jones is the new main event taking on Leona Machida, bumping the inaugural flyweight championship fight of Joseph Benavides and Demetrius Johnson. Now down to the co-main event. But we'll still see John Jones in four weeks. So I can understand people being hurt. I can understand that this costs guys in the prelims on the undercard money and they need to be paid. It's a horrible situation, but at least we'll see John Jones fighting very soon. Other UFC 152 news, though, as we're going through all this, Roger Hollett, he is injured. He was going to be taking on Matt Hamill, and now Matt Hamill in his return will be taking on Vladimir the Janitor, Matthew Shanko. Other UFC news, Frankie Edgar officially moving to featherweight, he said, hoping to get there before the end of 2012. Miguel Torres was released at UFC 145. That becomes news because in October he will have his first fight for Titan FC. Keep moving down on the news. UFC on FX5 will also see the debut of newly signed England top flyweight Phil Harris as he will replace Luis Gennat, who is injured, to take on Darren Yumayama. That is October 5th, UFC on FX5. Mark Bocek will meet Rafael Dos Anjos at UFC 145, November 7th. Ricky Fukuda will meet Tom Diblis in Diblis's middleweight debut, dropping down from light heavyweight at UFC on Fuel 6, November 10th. That is the historic first card in China. UFC on Fox 5 will be December 8th, will come to us from the Key Arena in Seattle, Washington. Benson Henderson will defend his lightweight title versus Nate Diaz in the main event. Shogun Rua, Mauricio Shogun Rua, will meet up and coming Alexander the Mahler Gusterson. And the cut that was suffered by Rory McDonald took him and BJ Penn off of the UFC 152 card, but they will be on the UFC on Fox 5 card, Rory McDonald versus BJ Penn. And the last fight that has been announced so far for the Fox 5 event is Ramsey Nijim, Ultimate Fighter runner-up, taking on Tough Live alum Joe Proctor. UFC 155 news, that is December 29th, the main event is Cain Velasquez, Junior Dos Santos, heavyweight title match the second time around, co-main event, Chow Sutton, Forrest Griffin, the second time around, and also added is a lightweight battle between Gray Maynard and Joe Lozon. Cage Minds, ton of news. Thank you for watching. If you haven't, check out Nux. Sign up for the fan forum. Uncage the war within yourself.
and have a good one.